What is up? What is up? What is up? What is up, everyone on YouTube? It's been a while, and I've missed you guys. Um, I'm excited because today is a, today's gonna be a great day. Every day is gonna be a great day, but today is gonna be a great day, if you know what I mean. Um, we're gonna go to the gym here shortly and do a workout. I'm gonna show you the workout, and it's not gonna be just any type of workout. It's gonna be a type of workout where, um, well, I was having a conversation with my friend. And he was like, oh, I want, you know, I want this type of body type. I want to be able to do these things. And I don't want the traditional weight training. So as you guys know already, I'm not about the traditional weight training, just bodybuilding, just powerlifting, just uh, weightlifting, just this, just that, right? Just body weight. I don't just do body weight, even though a lot of you guys say, oh, do you, get, do you just do pull-ups and push-ups? And no, I do those a lot, but I also do a lot of other things. So the type of workout I'm gonna put you through today and also maybe the next few videos on different body parts is going to be a mix between a little bit of bodybuilding where you get the heart rate up and a lot of these exercises. So it's gonna be bodybuilding, some hit training. We're gonna do a lot of functional movements and we're gonna have fun with it. So overall, it's gonna be an athletic type of training that's gonna help you guys get in a better shape, feel better, but also not you're pretty much not going to be doing things that like are dysfunctional movements. So if you're an athlete out there watching this, this is going to be perfect for you. If, if you're someone out there that wants to look better, feel better, but also be able to move, this is going to be for you. So pretty much this is going to be applied to a lot of you guys, unless you're just strictly a bodybuilder or strictly like an Olympic lifter, which I highly doubt any of you guys are watching my videos because you guys do your own programming. So honestly, this video is going to be perfect for everyone on here, and I'm excited. Um, we're going to we're gonna do different things. We're going to do some jumping rope. We might do some jumping on some boxes. We're going to do a little bit of push-ups and pull-ups, everything, right? But before we get to the gym, I want to show you a little something. I'm also going to show you in this video how I eat. And how I eat in the morning is, um, well, it's not really eating. It's more drinking. But I'm going to show you the shake I make every single morning. I've been making every single morning, or almost every single morning, for the past at least two and a half years. And uh, I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna show you why I drink this shake. All right, so first off, we got this cup. We're gonna fill this cup up. All right, so first off, we're gonna put some berry mix in here. So it's gonna, oh, that's good, right? Yeah, so blueberries, blackberries, uh, raspberries, strawberries, and uh, yeah, put some of that in there. All right, now, next step, we got this banana. We're gonna peel this banana, put it in there. And now we got the banana in. We got some baby spinach here. I'm gonna grab a little handful here, dump it right in. So here. Boom. Probably get some more in here. Boom. Now we have some almond milk we have here. Gonna pour maybe that much of almond milk right there and then the rest I'll do water and then here I'm gonna go in here grab the scooper get a scoop of protein powder I don't know if that was a full scoop so let's do a little bit more just for good measure and uh, now we're gonna top it off with some water some water here and I just like to make it so the shake mixes a little better so just a little bit of water to almost the top like right there boom Oh yeah, and another thing I like, guys, is I like in my shakes, uh, I like to put like a superfood mix in here. So I've used this one, I've used other brands before, um, but essentially it has like a bunch of things that you're not getting th throughout the day. And it's pretty much a greens powder. So if you don't eat enough greens, which I kind of don't, so that's why I put spinach in my shakes in the morning and I have this superfood uh, green mix. So put that in there. I try to get a lot of nutrients in uh, my shake in the morning because I know I can control that and just down it. And it's super yummy no matter what I put in it and it's also really efficient and fast. And it's, for me, it's, I look forward to it every morning. So now, blend it up. All right, so that's how I make my shake. I have my shake here now. I'm gonna enjoy it, drink it, digest it. Then we're gonna hit the gym. 
But the reason why I like making the shake and why I think it's so beneficial for me and uh, why I think it's the most amazing thing is because you don't gotta cook it, it's super fast, it tastes good. You can throw a bunch of veggies and greens and stuff into it and not really taste it. So you're getting a lot of vitamins and minerals that you weren't getting before. And for me, this is the easiest way to be consistent. So if it's easy for you to make a really good breakfast and cook bre breakfast and you can do that every morning, great too. You know, eggs, oatmeal. Um, or whether you maybe eat some turkey bacon or maybe you just have a salad in the morning. I, I don't know what you do in the morning. Maybe you're fasting, that's fine too. But for me, this has worked amazing. I feel great on it. I know a lot of people it's worked for, so if you haven't tried it, give it a shot. Um, there's a lot of studies that drinking a lot of natural sugars and eating a lot of natural sugars in the morning versus like later in the day is a lot better for you. So I'm getting a lot of sugars in right now and then uh, Gonna digest it, then hit the gym. But the biggest thing about any diet and anything is being consistent. And if it's not fun and you can't be consistent with, then maybe you only do it for a few weeks or maybe a few months, but over time or maybe a year or two years, whatever, right? But then you hate it after and you stop. I can safely say I could do this to the day I die, and that's what I'm most likely going to do. So I challenge you guys to do the same thing. Do something that you see yourself doing 50 years from now. Not just like a couple years to get in shape or whatever. Because this whole working out thing, guys, isn't like a get shredded three week thing. Even though, yeah, you could use that to get you motivated and started, but it should be a lifetime thing, guys. So we're here to stay. We're here to stay drinking shakes. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the shake now. All right, guys, so I'm about to leave to the gym in like two minutes. I'm making sure I have all my stuff before my, my bag before I leave. Which you'll see here, hold on. Let me show you here. In my bag, I got some, I got my weightlifting belt, just in case I wanna go heavy on squats. I got my jump rope here. Uh, I got some clothes to change into if it gets too sweaty, so that's my gym bag, it's pretty simple. Oh, and, 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 recommend you guys all get this. Got a lacrosse ball, it's a green one. And lacrosse balls, are amazing because it's like a, it's like your own little massage, but that fits in your hand, and you can take it wherever you go. This is just for trigger point, guys. So if your glutes tight, your traps tight, your arms, whatever, you can just put it on wherever's tight, and then lean into it, and slowly release that muscle. But before I go here, I'm going to fill up my gallon here, because as you guys know, I'm a huge, huge believer on water, huge. Because human body, 75% water, guys. Uh, way more important than food. Not as important as air, but you can't really control the air we go outside. You know, it's a little bit harder. So, water is the biggest X factor we can control. Make sure you guys drink enough water. Enough water, for sure. For me, I, I try to get, for sure, a gallon, if not a gallon and a half a day. So I challenge you guys, a gallon a day keeps the doctor away. Or keeps the gains to stay. Or keeps the haters away. Wh whatever, whatever you think fits best, but you guys should all be drinking a gallon of water, especially if you're gonna be working out like three, four, five, six times a week. For me, I work out probably five or six. Sometimes seven, and then sometimes I'll take some days off. But uh, water is super essential, guys. I cannot stress that enough. So, filling up the gallon here, gonna kill this, and kill this gallon be way before the end of the day, and then I'll probably refill some of it and drink more of that. So, see you guys at the gym. All right guys, so we've made it inside into the gym now. We're gonna start the workout, but before we start the workout, it's gonna be upper body workout, by the way. But before we start the workout, we're gonna do a warm up. And I'm gonna warm up my entire body. Like I said before, I like to warm up my entire body before I get into any type of workout. Even though if it's just gonna be lower body or upper body, I like to warm up my entire body. So we're gonna start here is with a set of jump rope. Um, I'm gonna do 30 to 45 seconds, and then rest, and then we're gonna do that three times just to warm up the body. Um, the way I'm gonna do it, you guys don't have to do it if you can't do you can't do a speed rope uh, double under. You can't do like the sprint. You can't do the things what I'm about to do. That's how I jump rope. You could just do a normal jump rope up and down for about 30 seconds. So let's get started.
so we just did the jump rope for three sets for about 30 seconds at a time. Getting a little bit more warmed up now. And then now, I'm gonna do a push-up variation like I showed you before. Warming up my shoulders, my triceps, my chest, my core, and like my whole entire back too. Upper back, uh, my rhomboids, my scap, my traps, everything. It's gonna be really, really, really super duper good. So we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna warm up the legs a little bit and get in to the workout. So that push-up, core, twisting, knee to elbow is amazing, I love that. It feels so, so, so super duper good. Uh, we're gonna do that for three sets. And then once you're done with that, we're gonna do this variation of, I'll show you right now, but of uh, stationary lunges to open up your hips and to open up your uh, hip flexors. It's gonna be really super good. And then after this, we should be able to work out. So let's get this one done and then get right into the workout. It's pretty much a walking lunge and then you're putting your elbow, your inside, or I'm sorry, your outside elbow to your outside, uh, inside of your, your your foot in the video, as you guys saw. And then you're gonna do that, what you saw in the video, um, five times each side about. And then every time you do one side, you're putting your hand down, you're reaching to the sky, you're reaching to the sky. Opening up your core, opening up your chest too, opening up every, opening everything up for this workout. Um, we do that for three sets. And then, once you're done with that, we'll start the workout. And I'm not gonna lie guys, this warm up is definitely giving me a little sweat. I'm not like fatigued at all, but I have, I have a nice glow going. So, nice little baby sweat, which is perfect for me because I like doing this right before I work out. I feel so much better. Okay, so this next set of exercises we're gonna do is a dumbbell row, but we're not gonna do a traditional dumbbell like bodybuilding row where we're like putting our knee on the bench or our hand on like the rack in front of us. It's gonna be totally, uh, we're not gonna be touching anything except for our, our own knee. So you're gonna see how I do it, but it's gonna be more core is gonna be involved, more legs are gonna be involved. Uh, and in my opinion, more power is gonna be involved. I like this movement more for functional movement, but it's also a great, uh, back exercise to building strength and muscular development in your back as well. So right after you do a set of 10 to 12, let's say 10 to 15, right? Uh, you're gonna go right into 10 push-ups and then go do your left side and then do 10 push-ups and that's one set. We're gonna do this for a total of four sets here. Um, and do a warm-up set right before you get into your top set. So I already warmed up. Next thing you're gonna see is my top set. So let's get it done.
one set. That's super tiring. Like super, super tiring. Uh, you're gonna do that three more times, so four times total. But be sure to take like a full, almost full recovery. So I'm gonna take like 90 seconds here. So if you need less time, do 60. If you need more time, do two minutes, 120 seconds. So anywhere from 60 to 120, depending on where you're at how fast you can catch your breath. So you wanna be going into your next set feeling pretty good. Not like, oh wow, I'm like kinda of winded. More like, okay, I'm pretty regenerated now. My heart rate's dropped, I'm ready to do this, okay? So recover pretty good and then hit it again. We'll do that total of four times. Okay, so after we finish that last set of rows and push-ups, we're gonna do this next complex, which is a deadlift into a row, a barbell row. So it's another rowing movement, but this is, uh, actually I haven't done this in a while, so we're gonna see how it feels. We're gonna do this for, I'm gonna go for 10 reps total. We're gonna do it for about three sets. And then the same thing. You want, you want a good amount of recovery in between 60, 90 seconds or so. So this next set of exercise is gonna be, we did two sets of rows now, right? We're gonna get into the uh, pull up movement. So we're doing a horizontal back movement, now we're doing a vertical back movement. Uh, we're gonna do pull ups to legless, pull ups to legless. And you're gonna go like close to failure. So for me, I'm gonna probably get at least 10 to 15. For you guys, if it's three to five, that's fine. If, if you can't do pull ups, then do pull down for 10 to 12 reps right into uh, 10 to 15 crunches. So 10 to 15 and 10 to 15 actually. Um, and then right into, let's see where, where we're gonna superset this one. It's gonna be fun. Actually not that fun, but it's gonna be fun. Okay, so you guys saw burpees. Burpees are gonna make you burp, maybe, or throw up, or just gas, or it's gonna get you in shape. That's what it really gonna get. I can't even talk right now, because I'm out of breath. But, so we're doing the pull-ups, or leg, the knee raises, the pull-ups. I did 10. Uh, you guys go for as many as you can. Actually, not as many as you can. Probably two or three right before failure, and then right into the burpees as you saw. And like I said before, if you can't do it, do the 10 to 12 to 15 pull-ups, to 12 to 15 crunches, and then right into burpees. And you saw I did like 10 burpees there over the bench. So do it over something you can do over pretty easy. 
and you're gonna do that final set for four. After this four sets, you're gonna be pretty gassed. And in between each uh, set, take you know 60, 60, 90 seconds of rest, and then you'll be done. Like done, done. Like it's gonna be really good. That concludes today's workout. Uh, we're gonna go roll out for a little bit right now, and then maybe go eat. We'll see. But uh, I'll catch you guys. In a sec. All right, so I finished the workout. I stretched a little bit. I rolled a little bit with the foam roller. Then I showered. Now I'm gonna have some lunch. And uh, I'm eating at this place called California Chicken Cafe. I don't know if you guys have that where you guys live, but um, I'm gonna show you how you can kind of go out and eat and still be somewhat um, mindful on your fitness goals and what you're trying to do. So you don't have to like, like this whole workout thing and getting in shape thing, right? It doesn't have to be like, you cook all your meals and meal prep all your meals and you have to go to the gym two or three times a day and then do cardio this and then do this and then do this extreme like diet and like transformation, which, which is cool. If you want to do that, you can do it. But it's not sustainable for long term. Like I said before earlier in the video, like can you see yourself doing this 10, 20 years from now, whatever, right? Not just this four week, eight week, 12 week thing. So I'm gonna show you what I order and you know, the biggest thing you want to be able to get is have a balanced diet, whether you're you're getting enough protein and then uh, carbs and fats. And if you try a different diet where you're you know, higher on fats, lower on carbs, that's cool too. But today I'm gonna show you what I'm eating. So I'm gonna show you the menu right now. Uh, this is the place, California Chicken Cafe right here, right? Focus! Um, but, so you can get anything from like, a Caesar wrap that has like croutons and like Caesar dressing and mayo. Uh, to like a classic wrap, you can have something like a whole wheat tortilla, and then you can have like uh, vinaigrette instead of like the dressing. Uh, so pretty much wherever you go, you can eat clean if you want, or as dirty as you want, like a place like this, because they have a bunch of chicken here, which is good. And then it's all up to you, and like the dressing and the fats and all the other stuff you want extra. So I'm gonna order. Uh, a wrap and then maybe a side. I'll show you what it is. All right, so this is what I got. It's a uh, Caesar wrap, so it has croutons in it. It's not super duper clean, but it's not super duper bad. I got it on a whole wheat tortilla. But if you guys want to be super clean, um, and you're trying to, uh, yeah, if you just want to be super clean, then get this, but without the croutons and without the, the dressing, and should be should be super legit. But I'm gonna eat this, and then usually during the day, if I want to have like a meal that I don't really care for being too clean, uh, obviously all my meals are decent. Um, at night, I usually try to have something less, uh, even more clean. So during the day, you know, I have my shake that's really good, and then during the day, I'll eat once or twice. That's kind of, kind of, I can be looser with if I want to be, or if I want to be, I can be super clean, and then. My, my meal before I go to bed is usually the cleanest. So, just rice and uh, a veggie and like a clean protein without that much uh, sauce in it. Oh, someone just dropped the bowl. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna enjoy it, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Focus up, focus, focus, it's not focusing. I'll see you guys. All right guys, so I'm back home now, and you guys saw my meal that I had earlier, and it was kind of clean, but not really. Um, what I'm trying to show you guys is I probably eat out once a day or once every other day and I have something kind of like that where it's not like I'm getting my carbs and my proteins in but there's a little bit, there's some sauces so it's in, there might be a little bit of extra fats or a little bit of extra sugars. It's not horrible but I try to keep it balanced. So now, so I had the shake this morning and then I had that meal and then I'm having now a cleaner meal. I'm going to be cooking chicken here and then probably some rice and a green. Very simple, and then maybe I'll do that one more time before I go to bed, and that's the eating day. And for me, this type of eating with the shake and then the kind of clean, but a kind of not so clean meal that has chicken, like the chicken wrap I had, or maybe sometimes I'll go to Chipotle or go to a chicken bowl place and get teriyaki chicken with you know lighter teriyaki sauce. That works for me, and uh, it's easy for me. It's also easy for me to maintain. It's not like so strict to where it's like I'm counting calories, carbs, proteins fats, everything, right? So, for me, I don't count carbs or calories, guys, or macros, should I say. I just kind of eyeball everything and go by feel, and it's worked for me so far. I encourage everyone to do a similar thing to where, like, you're listening to your body, not just, like, 
just doing whatever and ho hoping it works, but being mindful. So like do something for a week consistently and then, you know, if it feels good or if it feels bad, tweak it uh, the, the next week. So everyone's body's gonna be different. So not everyone watching this video is gonna eat exactly like me, but I think the shake's a great way to start the morning and the things I'm eating today in this video is a pretty good staple for people, you know? So give it a shot. Uh, I'm gonna finish cooking my chicken here and then we're gonna see how it looks in a second. Hey, so that is the meal, <clears throat> my next meal that's gonna go in my stomach and it's uh, pretty simple, just chicken and rice. I'm gonna cook, cook some spinach really quick and eat it while I eat this. But you guys saw the shake in the morning and then you guys saw what I had for lunch and then this meal and then I'll probably eat one more meal before I go to bed, similar to this. Um, and then you saw the workout. So everything's pretty simple, pretty efficient. No like secrets here, right? Just doing all this stuff consistently. So the main thing, like I say a hundred times over and over in my past videos on Instagram, on YouTube, on everywhere, even if you talk to me in real life, consistency guys, consistency. Don't do something you can only do for three weeks and then since you hate it so much, you gotta stop for three weeks. There's no point in that. Do something that you know you can do for day in, day out, for weeks, months, years, for the rest of your life, really. Um, but that, that concludes the vlog. Pretty simple. But uh, I missed you guys. I'm glad I got to make this video. I'm gonna make another video on this type of uh, working out, like the athletic style type training with the bodybuilding, with the jump rope, with the box jumps, with with everything, right? So I think next uh, next video it's gonna be a little bit different, but I'm gonna start this little series of like, it's getting more in shape for summer. I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet, but um, these next few videos are gonna be kind of that style. It's not gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit more functional than before, but still like, you know, you're gonna get a little bit of bodybuilding, you're still gonna get the physique you want. Um, but until next time, I'll see you guys on the next workout slash vlog video. Love you guys. See ya.